everyone, and thank you for stopping by today. I have a different kind of video today. We're gonna to be talking all about dressing your age or not dressing your age. When I started this channel two years ago, I had recently turned 50, and for the first time in my life, I was really struggling with how to dress myself. I used to be very confident in how I dressed and what to wear and what looked good on me. But when I hit 50, that was a big milestone to me, and I know it is to everyone. And I thought, okay, how am I supposed to dress? I don't wanna dress like my college age daughters, but I'm not ready to look like Nana either. So how can we dress appropriately in midlife and still be relevant and current? I also have discovered <laughs> through doing my channel and being on other social media that a lot of people have a lot of opinions about how women are supposed to dress once they hit 50. I don't think there's anything that happens magically when you hit 50 or when you hit 60 that, oh, well, I hit 50, guess I better throw out all my shorts. Yesterday I was 49 and that was okay, but now I'm 50, I gotta throw those away. It doesn't work like that. And now we are living longer, we are healthier, we take better care of ourselves, and we look better longer. So those old rules of what you should and shouldn't wear past a certain age are just out the window. That's an old fashioned way of thinking. Today I put together some do's and don'ts. Rather than dressing for your age, I have some tips and ideas to help you dress and look great no matter what your age. My first don't is don't give up. Just because you hit a certain age doesn't mean that you're totally irrelevant and no one cares how you look anymore. Take pride in your appearance. Take pride in the way you present yourself to the world and what you wear. Even when you're going out to the grocery store, you don't have to dress up, but take some pride in your appearance. Because whether we like it or not, people make a lot of assumptions about us simply based on the way we look. And it may not be fair, but it's a fact. So you may say that you don't care about appearance, but other people still do. And whether they're saying it to your face or not, it makes a difference. Tip number two, don't fall for every trend that comes along. And yes, that may sound <laughs> counterproductive for somebody like me who is constantly bringing you videos with new clothes and this season's this and that and telling you what's gonna be in style. You can be current and your wardrobe can be up to date without falling for every trend. I think it's more important to identify what your personal style is and stick with that rather than going along with every trend. Maybe you are a classic dresser. Maybe you're a more sporty dresser. Maybe you're casual. Or maybe you like to dress smartly, which I think of as kind of like business casual. Or maybe your style is bohemian. Identify what really resonates with you and that'll make it so much easier to hone in on the things that you love and will feel great wearing. My third do and don't is don't get stuck in a rut. And this is really easy to do no matter what our age but especially as we get older. I know that a lot of people tend to stick with that hairstyle or those jeans or that favorite style of clothing that was popular maybe when you were younger or when you felt the best about yourself. But hanging on to a style that was very popular in decades past is going to age you and immediately make you look uncurrent. So do evolve your style. That doesn't mean you have to change your hair every year or refresh your wardrobe every season. It just means evolve your style. We all change, our bodies change. What looked good on us at 40 might not look good at us on 50. I know for me, I have weighed about the same for the past 12 years, and that is right around 130 pounds. But my body today is not the body that I had 10, 12 years ago. Things move around, you know, I've got more of a tummy than I used to. My butt is flatter than it used to be. You know, our bodies change. So things that looked good on me 10, 12 years ago may not now. So you just have to be aware of that and shop for things that flatter the body you have. So update your hairstyle. Make sure you're wearing current shoes and jeans and update your accessories. If you keep your pieces classic, then this is really all you've got to do to update your look. Make sure that you've got some updated accessories 
your hair and makeup is updated, and shoes are a big one. That will go a long way to help you looking relevant and current. And riffing on that last do and don't, don't dress for the body you wish you had. Don't dress for the body that you had 10 years ago or the one that you hope to have, you know, after you lose 10, 15, what, whatever number of pounds you want to put in there. Don't dress for that body. Dress for the body that you are in right now because nothing looks worse than someone squeezing themselves into too tight clothing or draping themselves in clothing that is way too big. Clothes that fit and skim the body are going to be the most flattering, no matter what your age. This next do and don't is really the crux of this whole video, and that is don't wear what society or someone else says you should be wearing. The minute we turn 50 doesn't mean we have to start shopping at Talbots and Chico's and J. Jill. Those stores are all fine and they have some nice things, but they are geared toward older ladies. So if you start shopping somewhere that is 100% geared toward older ladies, your style is not going to be fresh. Even though the items may be new and nice and expensive in a lot of cases, they're just gonna lack that little bit of edge that keeps your outfits fresh and current. So instead, do wear what you love. You're gonna look and feel your best if you wear what you love. And that has to do with your lifestyle, what your personal style is, you know, casual, classic, sporty, bohemian, that kind of thing. Knowing your personal style and wearing the items you love is the best way for you to look your very best. And if you are 50, 60 plus, and you want to wear a bikini, wear a bikini. Look at Helen Mirren. She is in her 60s or maybe 70, and look at her. It doesn't have to do with an age. It has to do with your body, the way you look, and the way you feel about yourself. If you want to wear shorts, wear them. I get a lot of flack, especially on Instagram and Facebook, about wearing shorts. People tell me all the time, my shorts are too short and I'm too old to be wearing shorts. And to that I say, says who? I live in the South and it's hot here and I see people my age and older in shorts every time I leave the house. <laughs> so maybe it's a geographical thing. Maybe people making these comments live where it's cold, I don't know. But wear what you love. If you like your legs, wear shorts, wear short skirts. There's no age limit on that. And if you like trendy clothes, wear some trendy clothes. I know that in my other do and don't, I said don't jump on every trend bandwagon, but if you're someone who loves to play around with trends, do that by all means, because dressing in things that you love will always make you feel your very best. Anything that I have shown in today's video, I will be sure to link down below. I'll also put links to some of my favorite stores in the description box as well. J. Crew and J. Crew Factory, those are great stores that have classic pieces that really look great on all ages. I'm a big fan of, of those stores for that reason. Same with Banana Republic, Gap. So I will just put some links down there to some of my very favorites if you want to go shopping. I hope you enjoyed today's video. It's been a little bit different. Let me know in the comments what you think. And until I see you in my next video, have a stylish day. Bye.